welcome. And we're so glad you're here to celebrate the dedication of, of the Joanna Energy Storage facility. I'll give three brief reasons of why it's, it's unique. It's a 20 megawatt, four hour project holding 80 megawatt hours, able to power 15,000 homes over a four hour period. And it does this in the industrial heartland of Santa Ana, close to the load, where it's often needed the most. And it does this with zero emissions, without the need for carbon fuels or expensive and often difficult to permit transmission lines. The project aids in the adoption of more renewable energy to the California grid, and it does this by charging from wind and solar energy during high supply periods and discharging that same energy when demand exceeds supply. Last but not least, the project also aids in local grid reliability. As a battery, it's able to instantaneously charge and discharge megawatts and able to help balance the real-time supply demand needs of the grid. So while the battery project is not the first of its kind, nor is it the largest, uh, we believe Joanna, with its unique size, location, and early technology adoption, uh, can be a blueprint for more energy storage projects that will be built in California. It takes a lot of effort, but most importantly, we believe it requires strong partnerships, and that's what we want to celebrate here today. Thank you. Powen is a great partner, working on development, working on operations, working on construction. Powen really works well as a partnership. This is the way Hecate likes to work also. So uh, the mindset, the approach, the teamwork, the collaboration has been, been wonderful. This battery behind us facilitates the energy transition to renewable green electricity. The impacts are local with jobs, uh, reliable energy sources, heating, air conditioning, uh, running hospitals, and they're global uh, regarding climate. And it's not just the battery behind me that does that, it's the people to my right, my left, and everyone in front of me that helps facilitate that change and that progress. This project is particularly unique because it's placed near an important congestion area in the state of California. It is done through a public private partnership that includes local businesses that are already providing a huge benefit to their communities through jobs and through their products. <clears throat> and this project was put in a place that was very difficult and through the creativity of a strong team of stakeholders we were able to fit a project right here in Santa Ana in a way that's going to relieve grid congestion and really serve the ratepayers right of California. The paper facility like this is now getting extra revenue and that supports the local business to try to do you know, all the wonderful things that it does for this community above and beyond siting energy storage. This project is part of our efforts to utilize clean energy resources, starting with energy, to energy efficiency and then deploying wind, solar and other clean energy resources along with energy storage um, to meet our customers' growing electricity demands, the perfect uh, solution. And it's part of our efforts uh, to support an achievable and affordable energy transition for California to meet its 2030 and 2045 greenhouse gas goals. So again, thank you for having me and congratulations to Hecate for the completion of this wonderful project. as a holder of this technology and a leader in the space to make sure that these processes go well and that when Hecate and its stakeholders go to zoning boards that it's a positive experience. This was certainly that. It's groundbreaking in its density. It's groundbreaking in its size. It's a little bit like being the tallest skyscraper in Chicago in 1931 because we have much bigger projects that are coming right after it. But we can never minimize how important these projects that were the biggest of their time are in getting across the line.